Hi friends, Dr. Terza here. I hope you're doing well. I'm doing credible. During this episode, I wanted to take you on a one day excursion of the things that I love to do at home in my favorite city in the world, Mindelo, in San Vicente Island in Cabo Verde. So I wake up in the morning and I make my way to a local bakery and coffee shop to get some fresh bread and coffee. And then I either walk downtown, depending if I'm feeling lazy or not, or, you know, have one of my family members give me a ride. Um, either way, it's a beautiful, beautiful scenery. It is um, a nice breeze. It is never too, too hot and you're always close to the water, so it's not humid at all. I make my way to La Gina. Um, if you also love it, there's also a bar there. You can grab yourself coffee or something to eat. And you are at La Gina Beach. Whether you want to sit, sit by the coffee um, shop or the bar by the beach, or if you want to people watch, I like to people watch. I love to watch the children playing, the young adults, the teenagers walking by. You can even see some teenagers who may not have class, and so they come by with their uniform. I used to do that actually when I was younger, and whenever we didn't have class, um, we used to come down for a swim. And uh, to me, I always love watching the kids playing soccer or digging in the sand it's just a beautiful thing for me just watching the kids living good for a living and um, playing in the water they swim so well so I really really enjoy doing that something that I do enjoy doing as, a, as an adult when I'm home I even um, taking my kids or even with my husband is going to visit the cultural center of Mindelu, the Centro Cultural of Mindelu. It is in the middle of the city and you can always catch some exhibit by a local um, artist. Uh, for example, during this trip, there was a photography exhibit and also uh, an exhibit by international renowned Chale Figueira, um, who also happened to be one of my neighbors. So I've known Chale for a long time. He lives literally two doors down from my grandmother. So it's always nice to see some of his work there. Um, in the uh, cultural center of Mindelu, they have also uh, speakers, they have performances. It's a place that people go to congregate and also to do some work. You know, there's places to sit and uh, relax and, and write and read. And um, so I encourage you to do that. Uh, it's a free space. They do ask for donations, so um, that's also important. There's a gift shop there that you can buy postcards and um, other locally made products like soaps and um, and things of that nature. Across, there's also a bookstore that you can buy books. I've bought several books there, particularly children's books for my kids um, in Portuguese because I want them to learn. And there's also some stuff there in Creole, so I'm really, really Really excited about that but you can find a little bit of everything at the cultural center um, so I do hope you get a chance to visit that place I also find it important to note that um, I recognize my privilege as someone who lives abroad um, in the United States and in being able to afford some of the places that I'm showing you although the cultural center is free but you know the bars and the restaurants and being able to stay at a hotel is not necessarily something that um, the local population can do so this is a privilege that I do recognize and wanted to mention I have to say that one of my very, very favorite things to do is hanging out with my mom, just going about town. And here we are at the Galeria Alternativa. This is a, it's a gallery, but it's also a bookstore and there's um, locally made products there. So you see some bags, but there's also soaps and um, moisturizers, a lot of um, locally made products. So Praça Estrela is definitely a place that you need to visit if you're in São Vicente. Um, it's a place not only just not for the tourists, but also you see um, everyone that is in São Vicente definitely stops by because it has a little bit of everything. You find Cape Verdeans, you find um, Senegalese, Nigerian, Ghanaian um, vendors who are offering you all the different products from... Uh, 
different African cloths to already made clothes, to baskets, to batteries, to jerseys, clothing, hair products, even hair braiders. So Praça Estrela is the place to be for a good visit for both the locals and the tourist population. So make sure you stop by there and grab all your goodies to bring back home with you wherever you are from. The fish market, although it's not featured in this video, it's a place that you must vi visit because it is such a cultural vibe. There's always something fun going on there. Also, uh, check out the Mercado Municipal where you'll find all your locally grown um, products like veggies and also um, dried fish before you head to Praça if you just want to chill and people watch or if you want to go to another local spot and have a coffee or a tea. San Vicente is also known for its nightlife, which also includes concerts and clubs. I decided to do a staycation within my vacation. So I stayed at this lovely, lovely hotel, which I will put all the information down in the description box so that you can visit the website and check it out. It was absolutely stunning and beautiful. I was able to enjoy the view, the pool, and also um, uh, some of the many restaurants. This beautiful artistic floating hub is a place that you can grab a drink and also go dancing. Two things that I do like to do after dinner and a live show is uh, drinking a cup of herbal tea, fresh herbal tea, in this case mint, or I go for some gelato at a local spot and I'll put down the names down in the description box. The most perfect way to end my day is to be sitting at Praça watching my little cousins run around and just be kids. Anyhow, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment down below, let me know what you enjoyed most. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.